Statement of Comprehensive Income, our next lesson. It is actually, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, chapter 6 or chapter 5. Okay. So, it's all about Statement of Comprehensive Income. Let's start. What is income statement? So, I'm kung familiar kay dito. Income statement actually shows you the financial performance, the profit or loss of an entity for a period of time. So, for 2020, how much is kinita mo? Hindi ang ibinenta mo. Kinita. Okay? Kung hindi man kinita, magkano yung lugi? Yun, yun yung pinapakita ng income statement. And then, financial performance. Ano ba ang financial performance? It's actually measured by level of income earned by the entity. Okay? Mataas ang income mo, you can conclude that you have efficiently and effectively used the resources. If nag-net loss ka, it's either efficient, uh, hindi mo effectively nagamit yung resources mo, but however, efficient pa rin siya, pero hindi siya sapat para mag-net profit siya. Kasi there are instances na nag-net loss ka sa start of your business. Kasi syempre, binabawi mo pa. Ang daming expenses when you start up. Okay? When you start up, the first year of your uh, accounting, uh, your financial statement, usually, malapit ka na sa net loss or net loss ka na or mababa ang net profit mo. It's okay. Okay? Kasi it's start up pa lang. Okay? Results of operation, it will tell you the net profit will tell you ano bang ginawa mo. Okay? So, yun. Transaction approach. So, yun yung gamit according to PFRS. So, ano ba yung transaction approach? How much was earned sa revenues and how much was incurred sa expenses for the period. Okay, yun lang yun. Alam nyo naman ang format ng income statement. Mamaya yun. Okay, yeah? Financial performance also, it measures your profitability. How profitable are you as a business? Okay? Hindi ibig sabihin na first year not profitable ay hindi ka na magiging successful in life. Actually, uh, it's normal na first year ay net loss. Okay, it's normal. Pero, it's not normal kung in the next five years, net loss ka na net loss. Magsara ka na. Okay? Useful in predicting the capacity of the entity to generate cash flows from existing revenues. Bumebenta ka ba? Yun yung isa sa mga tanong na sinasagot ni income statement. If bumebenta ka, malamang si sales mo is actually skyrocketing. Okay? Ibig sabihin, performing well si marketing department. Okay? Pagdating naman sa, are you utilizing the resources? Are you using economies of scale? Okay? Sino magsasabi nun sa'yo? The cost of goods sold. Okay? Kung gano'ng kalaki yung cost of goods sold mo, it's actually the cost of the product you are making if you're manufacturing. Okay? Or if you're merchandising, kung magkano nakuha mong mat inventory it will tell you so much about how you handle costs in your company okay nagpapasahod ka ba ng ayos if your salaries and expenses are majority siya yung pinakamalaki sa expenses mo you're doing great okay however can your gross profit um shoulder the salaries expenses kung hindi patrabahuhin mo si marketing department. Okay? Sabihin mo, increase our sales. Yun. Ah, ganun lang. Comprehensive income. So, tapos na tayo sa income statement. Comprehensive income naman. So, what's this? Changes in equity during a period resulting from transactions and other events other than changes resulting from transaction with owners in their capacity of owners. So, dito naman, uh, internal to external. Kasi minsan, nag income kasi yung company when it comes to transactions with owners, related party. So, can you tell that you kumikita ka ng pera if ang katransak mo is related party? If the parent is transacting with the subsidiary, can you tell that you are profitable? Okay? 
medyo yes, pero mas yes. Yung if ang kansansak mo is not related party and is an external entity or another business or a customer. Okay? So, ganun lang yun. Includes profit or loss and OCI. So, dalawang klase. We have PNL and OCI. So, we go to profit or loss. So, sa profit or loss, ano pinapakita niya? It's actually the total income minus total expenses, excluding all components of OCI. If you remember our discussion regarding OCI, seven ang items niya. Okay? Bottom line figure, net profit, net loss. Then, net, ayun nga. Other comprehensive income, comprises of items of income and expenses na medyo special. Okay, alam naman natin to beforehand when we were discussing OCI that the line, the line items of OCI ay hindi lahat ng companies meron. And they are very special. The seven items. Okay? So, yun nga. Remember the seven components of OCI. In the PDF file, if you don't have the book or if you have the book, okay, nandun yung seven items. Okay? Now, we go to presentation of OCI. So, sabi ng ating standard, line items should be classified by nature, group as OCI that will be reclassified to P&L, and OCI that will be reclassified to retained earnings. Maganda lang pagkakasabi niya. Pero yun lang dalawa, OCI to P&L, and OCI reclassified to RE. Okay? So, ano ba yun? OCI reclassified to PNL. These are the items. Tatlo lang siya. Gain or loss to foreign translation ng FS. Then we have unrealized gain or losses on derivative contracts designated as cash flow hedge. Then last, we have unrecognized gains or losses on debt investment measured at FVOCI. Okay? Yung ibig sabihin ng lahat ng yan, na-discuss ko naman sa inyo sa intermediate accounting too. Okay? You just have to review your notes regarding that. If you have. Eh, pero pa, kung nasa puso nyo na naman yan eh, you don't have to uh, look at your notes. <laughs> anyway, OCI2 subsequently reclassified to retained earnings. So, you have unrealized gains or losses on equity investment measured at FVOCI, yung kanina debt. Dito naman, change in revaluation surplus, remeasurements of defined benefit plan, and gain or loss attributable to credit risk of a financial liability designated at FVPL. Okay? So, questions? Anyway, so we have presentation. Two-statement approach. You have shows uh, income and income statement and the OCI. So, mag dalawang statement na magkasama. Then, single statement approach. Isang mahaba. Combined statement. Okay? Parts of the income statement. <laughs> Let's review. Sources of income. These are your revenues. So, pwede siyang sale of merchandise of customers. Ang tawag sa kanya? Sales. Okay? Rendering of service. Anong tawag sa kanya? Revenues. Okay? Use of entity resources. Anong tawag sa kanya? Pwede siyang gains. Okay? Pwede din naman siyang sales. Pwede din naman siyang revenues. <laughs> Okay, dispose of resources other than products. So, yung huling dalawa, pwede siyang gains or losses. Okay? Sources of income yan, ha? Next, we have expenses. So, marami tayong expenses. The first one, the hari na mga hari ng expenses, you have COGS. Okay? Remember your formula for merchandising and manufacturing. Okay? Merchandising, paano nga? Beginning inventory plus net purchases. Plus, so, sa net purchases, kung hindi mo pa lang sama, freight in, tama mo. Net purchases plus freight in minus close uh, ending inventory. Manufacturing, mahaba. Raw materials bag plus purchases minus raw materials and is equal to raw materials use plus direct materials minus direct labor. Eh, direct materials yun na pala yun, raw materials use plus direct labor plus FOH equals to manufacturing cost plus WIPN beginning minus WIPN plus FG beginning minus FGN is equal to COGS nasa ano naman yan? PDF file <laughs> okay anyway, distribution costs are selling expenses 
administrative expenses, other expenses, income, tax expense. <laughs> Yan. So, let's discuss distribution costs or selling expense. So, ito lang yung mga costs that you, you incurred no selling, advertising, and delivery of goods. So, sell, kaya nga siya selling expenses. Yun yung ano nyo na, isipin nyo na lang na si advertising and delivery is actually kailangan mo para isell yung products. Okay? So, ano siya? Yung salary ng sales lady, salesman, sales commission, kung ikaw ay, ay naka-commission basis, traveling and marketing expense, malamang kailangan mo mag-travel, mag-house to house, or mga press conferences, mga basta ganun, and marketing expenses, freight out, and this depreci- depreciation of delivery equipment and store equipment. Alam nyo, depreciation, if hindi siya labeled, mahirap siyang i-categorize kasi pwede siyang sa lahat ng expenses ipasok. Okay? Kaya, you have to really categorize depreciation expense. Depreciation ba siya ng anong equipment? Okay? Next, we have administrative expenses. So, ito naman, in administering the business or yung Yes, you have a manufacturing firm. Yes, you have a merchandising firm. Pero, you're still incurring expenses para tumakbo pa rin yung negosyo. In a sense. Okay? In administering. So, these are all operating expenses that are not related to selling in COGS. Okay? Like, doubtful accounts, expense, office salaries and expense. Yung sahod ng mga empleyado mong nasa opisina lang. Okay? Office supplies, yung mga stapler, band paper, ink ng printer, professional, prof, professional, professional fees. So, if you're hiring consultant, malamang bumabayad ka ng professional fees and depreciation of office building and office equipment. Okay? Other expenses. So, this one, hindi siya pwedeng ikatag. Yung parang unique in itself. Expenses and losses from peripheral or incidental transactions of the entity. For example, sa ngayong COVID, masyado maraming expenses na papatak sa other expenses because, mm-hmm. for example, shuttle service. Selling ba siya? Hindi. Administrative? Pwede. Pero hindi siya part ng, ng iyong salaries and expenses. For the meantime lang naman siya. Saan siya? Other. Okay? Loss on sale of trading investment. Examples. Loss on sale of trading investment. Loss on sale of PPE. Loss on sale of non-current investments. And loss on sale. Malimit yung loss on sale niyan. Okay? Expropriation loss. Next. No more extraordinary items. Sabi ng standard. So, dito, do not present any extraordinary income and expense sa face ng income statement or OCI or in the notes. So, ano ba yung extraordinary? Yung hindi siya related sa operating operations ng business. Yung parang biglang out of the blue ang abnormal niyang expense. Okay? That's what you call extraordinary items. Okay? Siya ay... Uh, included in income from continuing operations. So, pwede siyang uh, may separate uh, disclosure. Okay? Examples are loss from calamities, force majeure, and fortuitous events. Actually, if your company suffered from force majeure and fortuitous events, you're preparing the income from continuing operations pa rin. Okay? Items requiring disclosure. Yan lang yon. Wait. You have inventory write-down. So, NR, yung net realizable value ng inventory, you have to disclose. Impairment loss, you have to disclose ano yung factors why you considered it to be an impairment, impairment loss at inilagay mo sa recoverable amount na. Restructuring of the business, disposal of PPE, pag nagbenta ka ng property and equipment, disposal of investment, you let go of an investment, discontinued operation, you shut down a division, and litigation settlement, natalo ka sa kaso. So, nagbayad ka. The, these are the items that require disclosure. You have to tell the auditor anong nangyari, sinong buyer, sino ang nagkaso, ano yung kaso, magkano yung binayad, anong ginamit mong method in estimating the litigation settlement. Diba naman ganun? Okay? And other reversal of provisions. Line items. You have revenue, gain or loss from the recognition of financial asset, finance, finance cost, share of income or loss of associate, income tax, <laughs> 
income tax, single amount comprising discontinued operations, and PNL for the period. Yung mga line items ng OCI. And comprehensive. Dami pala. Okay, we have forms of income statement. Functional and natural presentation. So, alin dito yung laging yung ginagawa. So, sa functional presentation is actually traditional and most common. So, baka ito yung laging mong ginagawa. So, cost of goods method siya kasi may clear lang and uh, the expenses are classified as functions. Okay. So, ganda yung tura niya. This is in, in your PDF. Net sales. Nakanote kung anong, paano computation ng net sales, yeah, cost of goods sold, gross income, other income, investment income, total income, then look at the expenses. Yung diniscuss nating functions kanina, yun lang yung kanyang lumabas. Distribution cost, administrative, other finance cost. Then income before tax, income tax, and then net income. Sobrang ikli niya. Okay? Alam nyo matrabaho to kasi you have to categorize in the notes kung makikita nyo sa PDF file na categorize siya. So, paano kapag litong-lito kayo kung saan siya papatak o di problema na natin yun. Okay? Problema natin na mag-categorize. Okay? Next, natural presentation is the nat nature of expense method ang tawag sa kanya. So, this is according to nature. No longer with classification. So, tinan natin sure. So, we have net sales. Ito malimit ito favorite kong gawin kasi so super matrabaho magcategorize kaya uh, pasok na lang natin lang na expense okay so we have net sales then other income investment income so lahat ng income nasa taas then you have expenses c meron bang category wala pasok lang ng pasok ng expense and then income before tax then income tax expense okay which to use? Actually, walang prescribe. Whether, which of the two you deem na relevant, mas ma ng users, and magiging fairly presented. So, it's up to you. Judgment. Okay? Is that clear? So, malilimit kong gawin is natural because kahinaan ko mag-classify. Okay? Pero kung ikaw ay magalang mag-classify at ayaw mo na masyadong trabaho, sa pag susulat ng mismong FS at gusto mo maikli functional okay anyway so that ends uh, statement of comprehensive income topic so I'll be uploading exercises and guided exercises too okay please bear with me kasi uh, lahat ng subjects ko nilalagyan ko ng video lecture. Liban sa economics because economics is provided meron na ang um, sa, sa YouTube na videos na mas magaling silang gumawa kaysa sa akin. Okay? But the rest of my subjects nilalagyan ko siya ng video lecture. Okay? Because I love you all. Okay? So, yun lang. Bye-bye.